Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be playing around with the new ColourPop by La Rose collection. Doing swatches, tutorial, review, all that good stuff. You guys know the drill. Um, so this collection is launching today when you guys are watching this, December 30th at 10 a.m. PST. As always, you guys can use my code. It is just Katrina and it'll save you 10% off the ColourPop website. So I wanna mention really quick, uh, I know it's already the end of the year, which is like insane. I'm gonna be doing a 2021 favorites video that should be coming tomorrow when you guys are watching this, so hopefully I will get that up in time for you guys. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this collection. The thing in this collection that we have is a nine pan palette and it's just called By the Rose. Um, there are no pressed glitters in this palette or anything and the pans are that like bigger nine pan style now that they're doing. Um, and this is just very rose pinky tones, very rose. <laughs> there are uh, four, five, mattes. One of them is like one of those shimmery mattes and the rest are shimmers. The palette is really pretty and yeah, so that is the palette. The next thing that we have is the Sip Sip Hooray Super Shock Trio. Um, so these are Super Shock shadows and I'm always excited to see these in collections. So um, we have it in the trio. I'm sure they'll probably sell them individually. I'm not too sure, but I think they usually do. I like the uh, color of the packaging itself. It's like this really light, uh, like neutral pink. Um, but yeah, we have Sundress, which is like, uh, I don't even know how to explain this color. It's like not maroon or like burgundy. It's like a really nice, like deep rose color. And then we have Lounging, which is more of like on the purplier tone. I love this color a lot. And then we have, um, It's a Vibe, which is a little bit more of like a peachy pink, like a lighter peachy pink. And all of these are, I think all of them are ultra glitters. Yeah, all of these are ultra glitter finishes. So those are the Super Shock shadows in here. And along with these Super Shocks in here, we have some Super Shock cheeks. Um, these are all pearlized finish and it's in that same like light pink packaging. So we have No Way, which is more of a pinky, like a peachy rose blush. Um, then we have At First Blush, which is more on the, like, like, purplier pink toned blush. And then lastly, we have Sounds Great, darker rose with, like, a purpley undertone to it a little bit. Um, but yeah, so those are the three Super Shock blushes in here. And last but not least, we have three new Fresh Kiss lip lacquers in this collection. I love the formula of these, so I was really excited to see them in this collection. First Glass, which is more on the brown nude side, which this color is super pretty. And then we have uh, It's On Me, which is more of a like typical like uh, deeper rose kind of color and then we have Spritz Me which is actually the shade that I have on right now this is more like on the uh, deeper rose like almost leaning towards like burgundy kind of lip it's not too too dark though are the three new lip lacquers that is everything in this collection so I'm assuming that this is the very last ColourPop collection of 2021 which is crazy um but yeah I, I mean I know most of you guys come here for ColourPop reviews and swatches and stuff and it's always super like bittersweet when it's like the last collection of the year so I just want to say thank you um I'm still doing one more video after this but if I don't see you in the next video thank you guys so much for like always coming to my channel for ColourPop reviews and everything. I always try to do my best. I know I was kind of slacking towards the end of the year just due to like personal issues and stuff, but um, I always like, I'm super appreciative of you guys always tuning into my videos. I love you guys so much. So this is the look that I came up with today using the collection. So if you guys want to see how I got this look right here and to hear my final thoughts on this collection, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the palette. So this reminds me of the Smoke and Roses palette. I just did a video on that palette. Was it like two or three videos ago now but um it's just like a smaller version so i'm not too mad at it i do love these tones of eyeshadow so um i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the shade sunday soiree which is this one right here i'm super excited to see some super shocks in this collection as well because i love those so, but the, the shimmers in here are really pretty too i'm just putting this in my crease i love this color so far it's like a really pretty like rosy transition shade. Keeping this like directly in the crease. I'm not focusing too much like on the outer corner or anything because I think I'm gonna do like more of a blown out type of look. So I'm just keeping this in the crease, keeping it kind of in a rounder shape. Into this shade right here. It's like a little bit of a darker version of the shade that we just put down. Again, starting in the crease and just kind of 
deepening that up a little bit. Ooh, I like that color. Again, I'm kind of keeping this shape a little bit more rounded. I love these colors and even though it is like more on the rosier side, it's kind of like a little bit more like softer and like romantic shades. I love these shades because I know how to make them look a little bit more grungy too, which is my favorite type of look. So I love shades like this. And then I'm going to go into the shade Savor It, which is that darkest shade in the palette. I'm going to take a little bit of this. And again, just put this a little bit lower into the crease. I'm putting this like right in the hollow of my crease. That way it'll give it some more depth. That you can see just putting that like directly in the hollow of my crease. It really just kind of deepens it up a little bit more. I'm going to go into one of the Super Shock Sundress. Not like, I don't know, it's a really pretty unique shade. Um, so I'm going to just go in with my finger. Ooh, that's pretty. I did a million times. Super Shock shadows are so underrated they're like my one of my favorite products from ColourPop. i really like that um i might go in with one of the shimmers in the palette um on top of that just because it's like almost the exact same color that's like in the crease so i kind of want to brighten it up a little bit i am going to go into um the shade ripe which is this one the lid like right here i just kind of want to brighten this area up a little bit And the shimmers in here are super, super pretty. So I just want to do something like that. Um, I might go back and add something else to the eyes. But for right now, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face really quick. And then we'll come back and use the cheek products, which I love. Super shock cheeks. So I'm really excited. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I just went ahead and did my foundation and bronzer and concealer and stuff really quick. So there are three super shock blushes in this collection. Um, one of them is like a little bit more on the like... Uh, pinky purpley side and then this one is a little too dark for me as blush but I am glad that they did a different range of shades for blushes in here so I think the one that I'm going to use that I think might work the best on my skin tone will be No Way which is kind of like a more uh like peachy pink blush and for super shock cheeks I like to use a stippling brush this is a ColourPop uh F9 I use this for like super shock blushes cream blushes anything like that so I'm just going to like this, and these are the pearlized finish. They have a little bit of a shimmer to them, which I don't mind. I love shimmery blushes, so. Ooh, that shade is really pretty. It matches the eyeshadow, like, perfectly, pretty much. <laughs> it's like, if a blush is too dark, it looks really intense right here. You can see, like, a distinct, like, line where, like, your blush and, like, your concealer and stuff is at. I like to go back with my um, Alamada Cosmetics bronzer trio, which is, like, <laughs> thrashed. Um, but I like to take this little highlighting shade in here. I use this all the time anyway, but it really does help if you, like, go too heavy with blush. It just kind of go over the edges, and it just blends a little bit better. And it doesn't look too harsh anymore. I'll just kind of go over that a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just finish up the rest of my makeup. Um, oh, let me finish the lower lash line, actually, since we're here. Lower lash line, I think I'm just going to use the same shades that I used on the top. I'm actually going to start off with the shade Savor It, though. And I'm going to put this right along the lash line. I really, really love this color a lot. I can already see myself using that shade kind of like all over. I love to just smoke out shades like that. In with the shade that we use second over here and just kind of blow that shade out. Don't look as crazy once I put like mascara and <laughs> lashes on and stuff. Finish up the rest of my makeup, put some lashes on, and I'll be right back. So before we do the lips, I'm going to do my inner corner really quick. I'm just going to take um, Sparkling, which is the lightest shade in the palette, I think. <laughs> um, it's really pretty. I'm just going to pop this on the inner corner. Ooh, I love that. Also, I have like lash glue all over my finger. Super pretty. Ooh, I love that. It's like a really pretty, like shimmery, like light pink. And then for lips, there are three of the Fresh Kiss uh, lip lacquers, which I did try the lip lacquers in one of my most recent videos. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was like where I was just trying it out, trying out a bunch of like new ColourPop products, but I really love this formula. So I think I'm going to use this one. It's like the darkest one in the collection. It's called Spritz Me. Um, I thought the eye look was going to be like a little bit darker, so I was going to do like a lighter lip, but this, I'm feeling this, um, but I love all of the, like, Fresh Kiss lip products, like, the gloss, the, like, what are they called, the glossy, glossy lip stains, those ones, like, I love them, I love, uh, the lip lacquers too, so, ooh, I love this color, just really love the formula of these, like, they're so nice, probably could use a lip liner with these, I'm not going to, because I don't care, I, 
love this color it's so pretty and again like this formula is just so nice it just feels really nice on the lips so um let me dust off this powder I'll give you guys my final thoughts. So this is the finished look and I love how this look turned out. I love these tones so I'm not mad at it. Um, but let me give you guys my thoughts on um, everything in this collection. Off with the palette, I do like it. There are other ColourPop palettes that have this kind of like color scheme that I do like more. I do think that this came out a little too soon after the Smoke and Roses palette, the Mega palette. But I get that not everybody likes the big palettes like that. Like, I'm not that huge of a fan of them. I did like that one, but I also like, like, I use those colors a lot. Not everyone wants a big palette, so if you liked the colors in Smoke and Roses, but you didn't want to buy, like, a huge palette, this would probably be, like, a really good option. I think all of them, like, the colors in here performed well. The shimmers in here are really nice. Um, there are, no, like, no pressed glitters or anything, so this is, like, a really nice palette if you like these colors. Um, I guess, like I said, it, it came out a little close to, like, Smoke and Roses, like, within a month, so um I do think they are a little similar but it's just kind of like personal preference of like what you like you know you like smaller palettes or bigger ones you know it just really depends on the person I do like this palette um I can see myself using it I really like that one shade uh this one the darkest one uh savor it that's like one of my favorite colors of eyeshadows so I can see myself definitely using that one too but yeah I like it I just uh I feel like it came out a little too close to when Smoke and Roses came out because it's kind of like the same color scheme. Um, but yeah, I do like it. I think it performed well. Those shimmers in here are really pretty. I love the shimmers in this palette. I think they are really, really nice. Love the Super Shock Trio. I'm always super excited to see Super Shocks in collections because I use them a lot. I love putting them on the lids. Want to get the Trio? I definitely say the Trio is really nice. I love all three shades in here. Super Shock Cheeks, I also really liked. I love this color that I have on right now, um, which was No Way. I I think it's a really pretty blush color. I could definitely see myself using this blush a lot. And I like that they did um, other shades. I, def I definitely think the shade Sounds Grape, which I love that name. Um, I think this would be really pretty on deeper skin tones. It's like a really pretty um, like darker, rosy, almost kind of like a plummy rose shade. I also like that they did more of like a purpley, like lighter pink kind of shade as well. Um, but yeah, I guess it just like depends on like what color would work on your skin tone and whatnot. But I do love Super Shock Cheeks and I love seeing them in collections. So I definitely recommend these as well. Last but not least, the uh, Fresh Kiss Lip Lacquers. I love all three shades. I think they're all super pretty. My favorite thing in the collection is probably the lip colors. Um, I just really like this formula a lot. I know it's like a fairly newer formula, but I really like it. Anything up, I would say the lip products, especially this one is so nice. I love this color. Again, this one was uh, Spritz Me. But yeah, all three shades, chef's kiss. I love them. Formula, it's amazing. So that is my final thoughts on this collection. I think it's cute. Other things in the collection are definitely the Super Shock Shadows and the lip products. If you're going to pick anything up, I would say pick those up. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you guys are going to pick anything up in this collection. I want to know your guys' thoughts. But anyways, I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.